And the, a second problem. We've talked about comparability graphs. Here's a post set on the left. It's the same post set, of course. And on the right is its comparability graph. Same ground set. Two vertices are adjacent in the graph when they're comparable in the post set. Is the notion of a comparability graph clear? But we've done it forward. We've started with a post set, and from the post set, we determine its comparability graph. Now I could ask the question backwards. I can give you a graph and ask you, is it a comparability graph? Yes or no question. Now, here's a, I just want to show you a thing. Look at the comparability graph, I mean, the, the graph on the left and the post set on the right. I claim that the comparability graph of the post set on the right is the graph shown on the left. Look at it carefully and, and make sure that you're with me on that. See the, see the three element chain, six less than one, less than four, right through the middle of the post set? That should form a triangle in the comparability graph, and it does. The triangle is at the top of the graph. Are you with me? Did everybody see that the graph on the left is the comparability graph of the post set on the right? All right, now let's just describe the comparability, the, the post set and its cover graph on the right. If I look at that as a cover graph, I see a five cycle with a dingle. A five cycle with one vertex hanging out like this. Do you see it? Five cycle. Just as a cover graph. Now, let me back up one slide. Yeah, or two slides. Look at the post set on the left. What is its cover graph? A five cycle with a dingle. Look at the cover graph, then look at the comparability graph. In the comparability graph, there's a clique of size four. Because in the post set, there's a chain of size four. So big difference between cover graphs and comparability graphs. The point is that on these two slides, I've got post sets with the same cover graph, but quite different comparability graphs. I'm going to back up. Post set with a five cycle and a dinkle is a dingle as the cover graph, the comparability graph has maximum clique size 4. It has a K4 in it. Do you see the K4? Now, I'm going to go forward. The cover graph is a 5 cycle plus a dingle. The comparability graph has maximum clique size 3. All right, so about trying to make sure that we're all on the same page about understanding the difference between cover graphs and comparability graphs.